Not even a family as a clan, but more as a man and a woman, as a unit. This is what I was thinking. I was thinking, if one is a carrier of the fire earth axis, for example, the woman, and the other one is carrier of the air water axis, do we get here something like natural harmony? Yes, but only the other way around. If a woman carries the horizontal axis and the man the vertical one, then it is very harmonious. But if it is vice versa, it is really not that good, because the man will be performing a female function and the woman a male function. Who fertilizes whom in this case? But if it is established by nature, if there is a natural instinct, and when you start pulling this nature out from within, you understand that you are fire and earth and the man is air and water. It is a perfectly harmonious couple, but not really family-oriented. Not family-oriented in a social aspect, in a childbearing way. The man is not able to procreate. He can't give birth to a child. The horizontal line represents gestation. It is a prolongation in time. The vertical axis, representing light and dark, fire and earth, this is insemination, injection, a stream of sperm. Bam, and that's it, it is fertilized. And then women would carry the child for nine months. If they swap this function, it means that the natural function is not being performed. Men can't carry a child. Carry an idea? Yes. A task? Yes. But not a child. That's how nature is. It is impossible to change. This is nature. So those men and women won't be able to have children. Women can, if they meet an appropriate man, the same fire earth. Then his fire earth, if it is stronger than yours, will be able to fertilize you. Because a woman can mimic the horizontal axis air water. It is her nature. If she awakens this nature within herself, she can accomplish everything very well. But if the man's fire earth is not manifested, there is nothing you can do there. Meaning that I should not get hung up on it. There is such a thing as nature, but we already know how to control ourselves. How can you control nature? Ah, can do it with nature, but what about mimicking? You could mimic it, but it won't impact the childbearing. It will surely impact the coexistence, the creation of a company, ideas, processes, everything that is not materialistic. But anything that is related to nature, to giving birth, one should bear it for nine months. It won't appear immediately. It is like in the movie, first come a kiss, then a baby. You can't speed up the process. 